Hi guys, welcome to a new series of tutorial on Stutz2 framework. In this video, we will be discussing on the introduction of Stutz2 framework. So, what is Stutz2 framework? It is an MVC framework for creating web applications in Java. There are two important keywords which actually we should know before we move forward. One is the framework and the other one is MVC. So what is a framework? A framework is a set of classes or Java files provided to facilitate the development of web application. We can develop application without the framework using the servlet and JSP but it will be faster if we use the framework because the framework will do lots of common tasks which is needed by almost all the web applications. So if we use the framework then we mostly need to concentrate on the core business logic and rest of the things are generally taken care of by the framework like passing the data from the HTML input to our model class and passing the data from model to the UI for example. And before we discuss the MVC pattern there are two design or programming models which we should discuss and they are model 1 and model 2. In model 1 architecture the request is made to either JSP or servlet and then that JSP or servlet does everything like extracting the input parameters from the HTTP request retrieves the data or does the business logic and then prints the output to the browser so one component is actually doing everything and there is no separation of task and that's why it is very hard to read or maintain or even extend so the problem here is that the presentation and the business logic is intermingled in JSP or servlet and which is obviously not a good design at all now one more problem it, it has that it reduces the code reusability now if you want to use the same business logic for other types of interfaces like the standalone Java application or for some mo mobile application then we can't do that because the business logic is embedded in the JSP or the servlet and the navigation is also decentralized since every JSP or servlet contains the logic to determine the next page and if we change the path of some JSP then we need to modify it in each and every JSP who is referring to it and it's a maintenance nightmare so the model 1 architecture is actually not recommended for the medium or the large scale applications we can use this for small applications with, with some 2 or 3 pages in it now let's try to understand the model 2 architecture in model 2 architecture every request comes to the controller which could either be a servlet or filter and then the controller invokes the business classes to get the data or wrap it in the model classes and finally forwards the data to the view or the presentation layer now in this model we have clear separation of tasks done by each component we have model we have view and we have controller and, and that's what the MVC pattern is so we can say that the model 2 architecture is based on the MVC pattern and here since the business or the model class has been isolated from the controller and the view so this business class can be reused for other types of interfaces and hence it increases the re code reusability here the controller decides what page to render so the page navigation is also centralized somewhere that we'll see in subsequent videos and since every component has its own task and they are not intermingled with each other and that's why they are easy to maintain we can debug easily and then it can be extended also so now we have got the background of the MVC we can actually visualize how Stutz2 application will look, li will look like actually Stutz first started with 1.0 version and that is called the Stutz1 some people may think that Stutz2 is an extension of Stutz1 but is actually not completely true Stutz2 
came from the WebWork 2 framework. It has a lot of features from the WebWork 2 framework. The WebWork 2 framework actually was released at the time when Stutz 1 had gained popularity, while WebWork didn't gain that much of popularity. But when analyzed by few developers, they found that the WebWork framework was architecturally superior to Stutz 1. Then they planned to merge Stutz 1 with the WebWork 2 and they came up with the Stutz 2 framework. So Stutz 2 framework is a merger of WebWork 2 and, and Stutz 1. And one more thing to note is that the WebWork 2 is internally using the XWork 2 from Open Symphony Company. So in many places you will notice that we have jar files from XWork 2 or we have package names containing OpenSymphony.xwork2 name in it. So don't be surprised if you are seeing such names of packages or the jar files because internally it is extending WebWork2 and WebWork2 is internally extending XWork2 and that's why these names and jar files are there. This was the background and introduction of Stutz2 framework. We'll see some more stuff of Stutz2 in next video. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching.